time for Smart Money. You got Paul and Tia on the couch and Keith Springer, the Fox 40 financial analyst, in his uh, handsome office. Good morning, Keith. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? Uh, very well, thank you. How's the market doing? I know where the fiscal cliff looms here. January 1 is a month away, and are we, oh, we were, we were wow. belly up yesterday, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be sort of fluttering along. We seem to be held hostage by our lawmakers. They just, uh, if they get a deal, the market will probably take off. If uh, they keep bickering and arguing, the market will probably drift lower for quite a while. You know, eventually they've got to come to a deal, and I would think this will, uh, it'll, you know, it'll push up higher, but everyone's nervous. All right, another thing, uh, Keith, that I noticed came out on yesterday, it, it's a biggie for a lot of people, being able to pay back that student loan debt. Huh. This really is the biggest crisis America faces almost. Well, we have a trillion dollars in student loan debt. When the government sort of cut back a lot of funding, they started giving out more and more loans to people. And all you had to do was sign up for a one semester uh, at a community college, get, a, commun get a, uh, a loan, a student loan, and most of it's not being paid back. A trillion dollars outstanding in, in student loans is going to be a big overhang for this country. You know, much like we had four or five years ago, we had a lot of mortgage debt, a lot of leverage debt. The student loan debt's going to be a big issue if it's not addressed pretty soon. So we all need to watch this one. Okay, later on this morning, you're going to be answering a question from a viewer about gold. Uh, before we get to that, just what's the trend in gold prices here of late? Well, you know, interesting, uh, gold typically will go up when the market goes up because if the market goes up, it signifies the economy is improving and therefore we should have inflation and gold usually or used to be tied to inflation. However, the last four or five years, gold has been tied to bad news because if we get bad news in the economy, it means the Fed will keep injecting more liquidity, more quantitative easing, more stimulus, and that's what the gold buyers want. They want more money. They want the feds around the world to keep printing. Therefore, they go out and they buy more gold. So it's almost the opposite of the way it used to be 10 or 20 years ago. So gold has been going down because the economy looks like it's strengthening a little bit. Uh, and if we get more bad news, you'll see gold start to go up. All right, Keith, we'll uh, talk to you later on this morning about whether you think gold is a good buy in the economy. That's a viewer question. For now, if you have any questions for Mr. Springer, send them to money at fox40.com, or you can call him up at 916-925-8900. Here's my favorite story okay. in the not news here. I'll over the last. To this. It, it,